going on everybody? Elijah here with Baseball Express and today we're going to be swinging the 2023 Axe BB Core lineup. So that lineup actually consists of three different bats. It's going to be the Axe Avenge Pro with the traditional handle, the Strata with the traditional handle, and then for the first time ever we've actually got an Avenge Pro Hybrid with a flared knob, which is something they've never done before. So we're super pumped to swing these today. We're going to be swinging them here today in San Antonio, Texas at our Baseball Express retail store on our hit track, so we're gonna see how these guys perform in and out of the cage, and today we're gonna to be actually swinging at Minute Maze, so let's see if we can put some out with these guys. First we'll start off with the traditional axe handle. Um, yeah, axe bench for a hybrid traditional. Here we go. Going into the straddle now, traditional axe handle. Let's see how this guy feels. These first two feel phenomenal. Super balanced. You can look at the barrels, they're almost terrible. Feels super lightweight, super balanced all the way through. Pretty impressed so far. Right, here we go, the Axivinch Hybrid, Axivinch Pro Hybrid with that flared knob. Feels just as balanced as a regular one. This handle feels really nice. That is nice. This is a flared one. That's that new knob, right? Yeah. Now you want to get out? Not off the wall, dead center. It's I'll a, walk about two. It's a regular one. See, there's a good one. Ooh. Better or the other one? I feel like you go through the zone a little bit faster. Is that, that one? Yeah. I Yeah, here. Is that your? This is a Strato. Oh, dude. I don't know, man. Those two felt pretty damn good. It's gonna have a long road ahead of him, dude. No. Bro. All right, guys. So, excuse me, I'm trying to catch my breath. But um, so now it's time to give my final thoughts on the 2023 Axe BB Core lineup. And let me be the first to say these guys did not disappoint in the slightest. Um, like I said in the intro, I personally have never swung an axe bat um, in my life until this point. I've known about them, I've, you know, I've been with Baseball Express for a while now, so we've sold them, I've heard nothing but great things, but just never really got around to trying them by the time I actually got my hands on one of my playing games Rover. So I was super pumped to actually get to try these, and when the Avenge Pro the trip back came out, it made a lot of waves, and it was such a big bat um, that I was like super pumped. So. Without further ado, we are going to start with the flared knob version of the Avenge Pro Hybrid. Now, these bats are half and half their hybrids. Um, don't swing like one though. Um, I didn't feel any ounce of composite and for me that was a plus. Um, it swung, it had a bunch of pop. I love the taper handle. Um, it feels more traditional, like a traditional kind of just falls off and I'm kind of one of those guys that kind of like tucks my pinky off a little bit for an extra piece of the plate. So it really fit in well. The bat swung extremely balanced. These are probably, uh, compared to the Cat, the Cat X, I mean, these things are super balanced. So super excited about this one. Um, before I put it down, I mean, it's just beautiful to look at. I mean, if you look at these, if you see these in person, guys, they're beautiful bats. The red and gold is just immaculate. So good one on the taper handle, on the Avenge Pro Hybrid. So these hit pretty, 
pretty similar. I, I didn't really see any differences there, um, especially on the performance. They're pretty hand in hand. I think the only you know variable is obviously the handle. So the way your bat goes through the the zone is going to be different, which would cause me to think that there was a little bit of a of a swing difference. But that's more or less user uh, issues. So. I don't think that there was a big difference. I really liked it, and me swinging the axe handle for the first time, this thing was smooth all the way through. I enjoy how much, it, it pretty much helps you get on top and through the zone with your hand on top, which really, and I'm gonna have no science to back this, but I barely topped any, and it rolled over about any balls in the cage with this thing. I mean, it was like, it was crazy. I mean, I was hitting more line drives than I think I did with a lot of other bats. I'm kind of a big swinger, especially in the cage. So I'm, you know, I'm taking mega hacks in there, and I was, hardly rolling over balls, which is insane. I was on top of a lot of things. So, but like I said, these bats are extremely, extremely well balanced. I mean, the, the barrel size is perfect. I mean, we're capping on hands, we're still smoking baseball. So once again, guys, Axe did amazing with these two Avenge Pro hybrids. And then the one that surprised me, I mean, literally surprised me, and this has, I'm not taking a shot at the Strato or anything like that, but the Avenge Pro Hybrid I thought was going to steal the show. I mean, it, it and it performed well. I mean, it performed amazing. I mean, you can look at the you can look at the at the the hit tracks performance. But the one that stole the show is the Strato. And you know, I was talking with some of the Axe guys that we work with, and I was telling them like I'm not biased by any means because I think all three bats are phenomenal. But this Strato was hot. I mean, it was smoking hot. I mean, I would put this up against any. BB core bat in the game right now. I put it against the Voodoo one. I put it against the Cat X. I mean, this thing is hot. I mean, the, I had been, and you know, the funny thing is, like, we hit in a short cage, and, and uh, I don't want to ramble on too much, but we hit in a really short cage. So, you know, when you compare it to a lot of other guys on YouTube, they're smoking balls. I mean, our cage is maybe 30, 40 feet, and not even actually. That's a that's a boost. I mean, it's like 25 feet long. It's not very big. So our balls, you know, at 30, we can only really launch at 30 miles an hour with me, you know, able to actually get some good barrel on it without getting blown by because, you know, 40 miles an hour at, you know, 20 feet is pretty, it's pretty fast. So we were smoking balls like 94, 95 miles an hour with this guy. So if he actually gave us a solid pitch at about 60 miles an hour with a good amount of distance in the cage, I, I am very, very curious to see how hard this thing hits because my gosh, balls were flying off this bat. So. If you were even skeptical, I know that the Adventure Pro is their is their flagship, um, but the Strato is no slouch. I mean, this thing is hot, and and not to take away, like I said, against the hybrids because they're the Adventure Pro because they're hot too. And I would take these bats out to the in the box any day. But my choice, my my favorite out of the three was 100% the Strato. I mean, this thing is hot and. If you are on the fence, if you're looking into it thinking, I don't know, I'm here to tell you straight up right now, buy this thing. This thing is hot. But without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we had a blast swinging these. Me and Mike were blown away by the performance on these. I mean, it is, it was insane. I mean, I'm like, holy crap, these things need to be at the top. These things need to be at the top of some of the best brands. I mean, I put, like I said, I put them against any Marucci, Di Marini, Louisville, any day these things are hot. But yeah, guys, if you're interested, looking to get one, you can pick all three of these up right now at BaseballExpress.com. Um, we've got plenty more content. I know I said in the last time we're gonna be doing these, the next video is actually gonna be the Street King. It's gonna be the Metal Pro or the Metal 2 Pro or Metal Pro 2. I'm, I'm kind of butchering the names, it's been a long day, but Street King Bats coming up next. Be sure to tune in. Uh, be sure to follow our Instagram social pages for any clips, any new content we've got coming out. We're really putting a lot of stuff out there. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.